you know, after being a show, I told myself, pretty, you need to do better. You need to love yourself more. You need to learn how to do that. I understand that, that this thing has been there for since you are a toddler. But go. You really really need to change you really really need to love yourself because if you don't no one will and then yeah i've been receiving hateful comments but shaming me calling me ugly i was like mm, okay i know i beg it's okay because even the people that were body shaming me or call me ugly they're more ugly than me i was like ah, because i won't i won't abuse you make i just rest yeah until until this week I think the beginning of this week, yeah, I've been receiving a lot of taggings from this particular video because when I'm like a you, I didn't understand. And the comment section was not like opening. People were just like, this is not good the way you're talking, da, 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 da. it's not okay. So then can you interview like the woman beside that person, that uh, bishop is giggling, is laughing, and I was like, ah, maybe Simba. But ah, hey, I decided, I, people decided to talk me more because they were like, maybe she's not sick. And they decided to talk me more. So I was like, ah, make, make I ask my friend, what's in this man talk? So I carry myself, carry the video. I don't give up to my friend. I ask him, ah, ah, babes, this man, they talk like this. I know you understand, yeah? Yeah, she told me, I understand. And I was like, what does he mean? Because he's talking in a Kikuyu language. What does he mean? And she was like, she's body shaming you, talking this and this and this. And I was like, huh? A whole bishop. A whole bishop. Body shaming me. Because I had my name and I had my ex's name. So I was like, really concerned because of the name. So this pastor goes ahead in that interview and says, and said, how ugly and unattractive fat. I am. He goes ahead and calls my ex the same and I was like, mm, okay. Okay. So we are that ugly. Ha. Ah, my ex even you you do try or you do try. <laughs> if you can look at my eyes, literally a girl has been emotional for like two hours. <sighs> Cause that's how I heal myself and that's how I get back on track. I just cry myself out and I cry myself to sleep sometimes. <sighs> so that video got me wondering. Who you saying Bishop, okay? Bishop Ben wa GCM. Bishop Ben wa GCM. Bishop Ben wa GCM. You know what? We will do this. Because I'm and I'm like, ah, these are just normal people. But you, you are an eye to someone. You are a father. Okay? You're like the eye of God. Okay. So he decided to put to put everything aside. The fact that you're a bishop, the fact that you have a family, the fact that you have a wife, the fact that you have a whole team of people be, uh, behind you, you've decided to forget that. So we will do this. I will locate your church this Sunday. Yeah. And I'm coming to your church. Because you know why? I want you to tell me the same exact words. The same exact words. And I want you to say them. Why you are standing boldly? Then you come make up of chini boldly. I want you to stand boldly at the altar and tell me the same same words in front of your members because I mean it's not a bad thing telling me the truth. So I want you to tell me the truth in front of your people. Yeah. So I'll see you this Sunday, and I'm just I'm I'm just wondering how what, what do you teach your people? What do you teach your children? What do you how do you see your wife? How do you see women around you? So, because I've decided to be a bigger person here, I'm do, I don't want to cry in front of a camera again. I'm really, really trying. Yeah? So, see you this Sunday. Let's ha have a good service. Yeah? I hope I will enjoy being in a church and you telling me. And I think I'll film it. Yeah. Yeah.
so that I will be putting it, I will be playing it every day and remaining myself, no matter how hard you try. The man of God said that you're ugly, you are fat and unattractive. Yeah. yeah. And thank you for reminding me. Thank you. May the Lord that you serve and teach your members bless you.